Hi P4 students, welcome again to this another video of our math core class. Let's continue chapter 13 about fractions. In this video, you will learn lesson 4, find fractions on scales. Lesson 5, compare and order fractions. And lesson 6, a person says as a number of parts out of 100. Okay P4, come on, let's start. Let's start with lesson 4 or lesson D. We have fine fractions on scales. So look at here, I have a picture of a thermometer on a jar, okay? Eddie measures the temperature of a jar of water with a thermometer. What is the temperature reading on the thermometer? Take a look. Uh, look at this one the picture of the thermometer is being enlarged so look at the red liquid it raised to what number yes 50 so therefore the temperature of this jar of water is 50 degrees celsius okay before okay children so the temperature of the water changes after a while so what is the temperature reading now? Look at the scale or look at the thermometer. So it goes down, right? From 50, it moves to, take a look, between 48 and 49. It's in the middle. So, so from 48 until this small one, this small line here, that is one half children. So this is one half here and this one is also one half, right? One half and one half is equal to one, right? So if this is 48 and another one half, so the temperature now decrease, goes down. So that is 48 and a half. So this is the new temperature reading now, okay? I have here another example of fractions. Okay, look at the weighing scale. What is the mass of the basket of fruits? So the pointer, children, is pointing at one division after one kilogram. This is one kilogram and this is two kilogram. One division represents one half kilograms. So why it's one half kilogram? Remember, from one to two, there are two parts. Okay, remember if one whole divided into two, that one part is one half. So this is one half. In word form, we say one half kilograms. In number form, we have one, then we have the fraction bar and two. Okay, so the mass then, the mass of this fruit of basket is one and one half or one and a half kilogram. Okay, so this is the uh, mass of the fruit basket. Okay, another showing fractions on a number line. Look at this number line. There are four divisions between two whole numbers. Example, from zero to one, let's find how many division. We have one, two, three, four. One, two, two, is it four? One, two, three, four. The same, right? So there are four division. Therefore, if a whole divided by four, one division means one quarter. So the value of A is one division between zero and one. So the value is one quarter C. Okay, so one division is one quarter. How about if here that is one half or two quarters? Here, three quarters and one or four quarters. Now, how about uh, this one, the B, the value of B? The value of B is two division between one and two, right? One and two. Two division, one, two. Therefore, it is one and a half. It could also be one and two quarters. Do you remember equivalent fractions? One half is equal to two quarters. So in word form, that is one and a half. One and a half or like this as a number form, one and a half. How about the value of C? C is between two and three, so that is two, right? And how many division from two? One, 
two, three. So there are three divisions after two, so that is two and three quarters. And word four. Okay. So children, this is how to read fractions on a number line or on a scale. Now let's study children lesson E. Let's compare and order fractions. Cake A and B are of the same size. Roy takes one slice from cake A and B. Gina takes one slice from cake B. Who takes a bigger slice of the cake? Is it Roy or Gina? Remember, Roy is only divided into how many equal parts? Four. Gina, how many equal parts? Eight. Who has the bigger cake or bigger slice? Correct. It's Roy. Remember, if we divide a whole into a smaller number, the part is bigger. But if you divide a whole into more parts, the part becomes smaller. Therefore, one quarter is greater than one eighth. Okay, let's compare. So, will your answer change if Roy divides his cake into eight equal pieces? So, if one part, if one whole divide by eight, it becomes one eight. And Gina still one eight. But Roy take one quarter, right? One quarter and one quarter. One quarter. If she if he will divide into eight, so one here, one here. And what another here and this one divide into two okay the answer is, is still the same Roy gets one quarter or two eighths Gina is still one eighth okay now let's compare the fractions children uh, using with different denominators IZ and Eddie has each had the same cake the they each ate some cake IZ had three quarters of her cake left and Eddie had five eighths of his cake left. How can they compare the fractions of the cakes they have left? So take a look. IZ is three quarters. So this is one quarter, two, three. Eddie, one, two, three, four, five. So who is bigger? Three quarters or five eighths? So to make them children the same, we can change three quarters so the denominators becomes eight. We multiply by two, so three times two is six, four times two is eight, six, eight. So IZ now becomes six, eight. AD now is still five, eight. So who has a bigger size or a bigger fraction? Correct, it's the six, eight or the three quarters. There's one. So IC has more cake left than AD. So 6, 8 is greater, therefore 3 quarters is greater than 5, 8. Okay, 5, 8 is smaller than 6, 8. So 5, 8 is less than uh, 3 quarters. So this, this symbol is less than or smaller than. This one is greater than or bigger than. Okay, we have here, let's order some fractions with the different denominators. Order fractions for fifths, one fifth, and three tenths from the smallest to the greatest. How to do that? Make the denominator of this fraction the same. So let's make four fifths, the denominator becomes ten, we multiply by two, it becomes eight tenths. One fifth also, it will become two tenths now by multiplying by two. So all of these three fractions now have the same denominators, which is 10. We can divide them by putting also in a number line. Two tenths is here, three tenths is here, eight tenths is here. Therefore, the smallest is two tenths or one fifth, right? The middle one is three tenths and the greatest is the eight tenths or four fifths. So this is how to order fractions, children, okay? Now let's study lesson F. Find the first of percentage as a number of parts out of 100. Okay, take a look. Write two equivalent fractions of two-fifths. Okay, how to write the, 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 the same, the, uh, fractions of two-fifths? Multiply two-fifths by the same number for both numerator and denominator. Let's multiply by two. 
2 times 2, 4. 5 times 2, 10. Okay? And you can multiply it with another for a number again. Okay? Both numerator and denominator. Okay. So this is 2 fifths, right? This the one here is 3 fifths. Okay. Let's have this one. Hannah wants to write two fifths and its equivalent fractions above as a fraction out of 100. How do you think Hannah will make two fifths that the denominators becomes 100? So finding the equivalent fractions that the denominator is equal to 100. So what number you will multiply to find that the answer is 100? Yes, it's 20, right? 5 times 20 is 100. And also, that 2 multiplied by 20. And that is equal to 40. Okay, therefore, 2 fifths is equal to 40 hundredths. Again, 40 hundredths. Okay, let's study now percent. Means, what is percent, Miss Claire? Percent or per percentage means a number out of 100. Lina places a counter on a game board with 100 squares. One square children here is one. So, one percent of the board is filled, yeah? Percentage is the number of parts out of 100. So, we read one percent as one percent. This symbol means percent. So, 1% is equal to 100. 100% or is equal to 100 hundreds or one whole. Take note on that. So, the game board has 10 squares on its side. 10 here and 10 here. So, that is 100. So, this is 100 board. One part of this is 1%. If here, 10%. If here, 20%. And the whole is 100%. Okay. Lina places more counters on the board. How many counters are there? Yes, there are 20 out of 100. Small squares are filled. So that is 20% of the board is filled. Okay. How, what part of the board is not filled? So 100 minus 20 is 80. This one, 80%, not filled with uh, circles or counters. Okay, let's study expressing a fraction as a percentage. Ben wants to write one quarter as a percentage. To write a fraction as a percentage, we change the denominator to 100. So you have one quarter. We multiply this number, numerator and denominator, to make the denominator by 100. So what number? We multiply 4 to make 100. It's 25. So 4 times 25 is 100. 1 times 25 is 25. So that is 25 hundreds. So this one, see? 1 quarter is this, right? This one here, this one here, the whole here is 25 hundreds. This one. Okay, so 25 hundreds means 25%. Therefore, children, one quarter is equal to 25%. Take note. Remember that before. Okay, P4, that's all about for lesson four, find fractions on, on scales. Lesson five, compare and order fractions. And lesson six, percentage as a number of parts out of 100. I hope, children, that you'll learn a lot about this lesson for chapter 13. I will discuss more about this lesson during our class. Thank you for watching, children. And always remember to stay safe and healthy. God bless everyone and enjoy your day.